Okay, uh, quick video update. Um, I just rewired this uh, pump for the filter, and uh, the good news is we're at uh, over 10 pounds finally. We're running a nine, so that means that it is collecting and building up pressure. Uh, usually you wanna get five to 10 pounds higher before you uh, backwash, and I just bought a backwash thing. I just rewired everything. I'll explain it very quickly. Um, and, uh, oh, it, it's actually saying that the salt is not low. So it's saying that the salt level is good um, and that the flow is good. And that, uh, so this is the salt generator I just hooked up. It's a Pentair IntelliFlow, IntelliChlor, I'm sorry. Um, so we can uh, turn up the amount of chlorine that's being generated because it's probably very low right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, we'll press it and we're going to bring it up to um, 6%. So I'm assuming it's very low so we're going to super chlorinate the pool. And uh, the good news is uh, it, it says good flashing green. Um, I don't know, it's a solid light. Um, oh, if it's flashing, there's high salt. And if it's green, it's good salt. So I think I nailed it. Um, the cell is green, is good. Flashing is inspect the cell. So we have solid colors on everything. And three dots that I just put. And the flow is good because the pressure uh, needs to be a certain number of gallons per minute. I think a minimum is about 40 and the maximum is 80. So we're right in the sweet spot where we want to be. And um, this is the uh, IntelliClor system power center. Um, the power comes in right here. This is a uh, water resistant GFI. This is an on-off kill switch to everything. Uh, this is an intermatic timer that allows three different circuits. And all these are the blue wires or jumpers I put in to basically to make them into light switch. Uh, the power from here is coming into here. So we have the hot on uh, terminal one. Terminal two is the neutral. I have two neutrals right now because the second neutral is uh, basically going into this wire and we'll explain that in a moment. The, uh, the ground, there's only two grounds right now which the ground is green, remember? And then uh, the black is the only switch being jumped right now. So that one black wire is essentially the switch which goes into this box here. So I took um, this 14 gauge wire, which is fine. It, it can handle up to 18, uh, um, 18 amps. And we have a 20 amp circuit uh, over there. So that's the main box. But uh, what we have here is, uh, I got some pictures that I could share, but essentially I've already closed everything down because it's gotta be waterproof. I use these uh, connectors, which are also waterproof, and the wire uh, is a special wire, um, which is actually S-J-E-O-O-W. So it's oil-proof, waterproof. It's a very hardy, uh, well-made wire. And uh, what brand? Southwire. So Southwire is a name brand. I think it's even USA made, and it was only manufactured a few months ago. The switch goes into here and simultaneously it turns on the IntelliClor system which leads, as you can see, right into the salt cell that we were looking at that's all green. And then in addition, um, it's uh, just one wire, really an extension plug. I put some conduit here just for safety and uh, essentially it's going right into there, into the main pump. Uh, we may hook up the Polaris, you know, it's ready to go. That's the um, back in there. I got it capped at the pool right now temporarily. 
but uh, yeah, everything looks good. Um, my next project is to actually take all these wires and uh, feed them into the pool light system. So this is a remote control uh, pool light system. I think it even does light shows, pretty high end. It's made by SR Smith, uh, very good quality. And I will be uh, going ahead and putting that uh, on very shortly. Okay. Speak to you later. Bye.